Hey guys, welcome back to another video of All Things Nerd. I am Caleb. I uh, just want to talk about uh, a couple of things that I have seen just over the past week or so from uh, the developers for this game uh, the day before. Um, and it's being developed by Fantastic. And they've had a couple of different games that they have made. Uh, not a very great track record, but just kind of wanted to go over some of the things I had seen. A few different things. <laughs> um, so one of the games that they had made was Prop Night, uh, which was, I would say, one of the most popular ones that they have had. A lot of mixed reviews on there, but I know a few people had enjoyed it. Obviously, Prop Night. Everybody loves Prop Night. Uh, but I could see the similarity and why it would kind of be popular with uh, fans of like Dead by Daylight. But this is about the only game that this company has had where they have came out with this and received some okay reviews for it. And I'm surprised it's still on this platform. But a lot of their games that had came out that they had developed weren't big projects. Uh, a few of them, most of them, I think were just mobile games. Some of them, they had released the title and maybe made it on the market for about a week, maybe a month max where before they even canned the project. So I just think it's kind of odd that we have a company that's creating a game that is supposed to be an open world uh, title. So it's just weird that you're going to have a company create a game that hasn't even had any great games under their belt to come out and say, we're going to create this MMO survival game that is uh, very similar to The Last of Us as well as Division. Um, I can see huge influences with those games. So it's just kind of odd to be like, we're going to make this huge open world game for you to explore. It's going to be no problems, zero problems, but all they've created were just these kind of small scale games. So it seems to me that it's just going to be a bit ambitious to come out and say, we're going to create this open world MMO survival game. That's going to be the biggest and bestest uh, survival horror game. So I just thought that was like a little odd, um, kind of just coming into the company to doing some research for what I have seen from other people, uh, whether it's from their videos or articles. I don't know. Like to me, it just, it makes it seem more of a scam. The more that I read into this game, the more that I see from the company or therefore the lack of things that we hear from the company. Like they not only have they not really shown us a lot of gameplay, like they did come out with one of the gameplay trailers and it was like official gameplay and people were like, sweet, we get to see gameplay for this game. They had what, maybe five seconds of over the shoulder, um, an over the shoulder view of them shooting, which wasn't even that great to look at, but it just, everything looked like it was pre-rendered. So I know there's a lot of people that have been asking them whether it's on Twitter, social media, or even comments on videos, pretty much all you hear is show us actual, you know, live, unfiltered, un unedited, uh, raw gameplay footage. And so like this one posted, uh, it's been five days ago for PC games. Um, so it kind of popped up to me, but apparently that they're promising to bring up um, and show people some, uh, you know, raw footage from the game. So they're gonna be doing, um, See your title, you know, day before official GeForce RTX 4K gameplay reveal, um, followed by some other trailers. But they soon, they say that soon they'll show some raw gameplay footage uh, for the game. That'll be exciting. But like I said, I know a lot of people aren't that happy with from what they've seen so far. But especially just the company in general. Like, like I said, not only do they not have a great track record? They don't have a lot of great games under their belt. And then to come out and say, hey, we're going to create this huge game. But it's just the way that they kind of handle everything. Like even if you look at the Twitter, you would think that you would be hyping people up about the game. You would hype them up about, uh, you know, kind of maybe screenshots that are you're going to be showing for this upcoming game. It's going to be coming up, you know, I believe it was March, they said. Like, it's almost like they don't want to... I've never seen a company that was creating a game that was so excited to not talk about their own game. <laughs> Is That's how it feels. Go on here, you know, the life at Fantastic. Um, you know, day before Prop Night, but uh, I think this one was... That was a retweet, but um, they had a post. I don't even know why it just disappeared. Unless they know we're watching and they deleted it. <laughs> uh, they had a post that was on here. And it was kind of like, I wonder if they did it. If they deleted this tweet as I was making this video, that is hilarious. Because <laughs> that kind of goes exactly with what I was talking about. Oh, you know what? No, I think we're on the wrong Twitter. Uh, fantastic. That's what it was. 
<laughs> I was going to say, I was like, I swear, if they had deleted this while we're making the video, that's awesome. Okay, this tweet right here. Uh, we declare war on offices. Fight for freedom has begun. Freedom from offices work remote. Awesome. You know, I agree with that. Working from home is awesome. But they keep promoting, if you've noticed, they keep promoting this app, Consonant app. They had a video that came out, which I should have the link for that. I apologize for being unprepared, but kind of just want to talk about something at least. Um, but apparently there was a video that they came out with where I think I could have swore it was titled something about that they were going to share information about the day before. People clicked on the video and all it was was just kind of this vloggy sort of TikTok house BS <laughs> video, whatever you want to call it where they didn't even talk about the day before. It's, it's like they just clickbaited their own video to then promote this app where they didn't even say it was from them. They were just like, this app's awesome. It helps us to do our job, helps us to work. You guys should install this app. We suggest it. It's awesome. Download it, please download it. And then people were like, what is this app? And then they showed the video, you know, where they're like, it's just like Zoom, but better. People did some research, did some digging. The app is from themselves. They keep, oh, that's all they keep doing. They just keep promoting this app, Continent app. Nothing about the day before. Everybody keeps asking about raw footage gameplay. They want to, pretty much everybody just wants, it's like poking them with a stick saying, can you just give us some information to tell us that this game is real? You're not, you know, you're not conning us. It's not just a scam. And it's almost like they either don't say anything at all, which I get it. But if you have so many people hounding you and calling your game a scam. I don't know, maybe that's the ultimate prove us wrong sort of thing where you're just not gonna say anything at all. And you're just gonna come out with the game and let your work speak for itself. Awesome, you know, big baller move, sure. But it's kind of like, I feel like that would heavily affect sales if you're not saying anything at all. And especially if your game is going to be a scam. <laughs> I don't know, I think it would just help. Satire hype was to push cont a continent in a meeting that you guys created. Game set to release in two months and we still don't know anything about the gameplay loop. I don't know. Like I said, maybe they're pulling some sort of Apex Legends, like Apex. They didn't release anything about that game before it dropped. People were like, what the heck are we even playing? Maybe they're going for the same move, but I think as a company that's where they've made so many games or the few games that they have made and didn't even do well, it's just, it's so funny to me why they're not saying anything. I just, I, nobody understands that. But yeah, it seems sus, <laughs> but just kind of want to talk about some of the things that I have noticed, just kind of the big uproar where, you know, I think a lot of people are in agreement. They just want to see more. It's like a month away. Um, who knows? Like I said, maybe it's just, they want to keep things under wraps for it to be just that much more exciting. But I think the... You know, I think the teeter totter has <laughs> tilted one way that the only thing that's going to make people excited for it or to even want to drop money on it and support it is if until they actually see some gameplay. And if that takes it for it to release and then people are going to watch gameplay, then buy the game. Yeah, you know, maybe that's what it's going to take, but I don't think the sales are going to do too great if that's what everybody's waiting for. And I know that's what I'm waiting for, but I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, you know, go ahead and comment down below if you guys uh, feel the same. You know, what are your guys' thoughts? I know I didn't really bring a lot of info forward on this video, um, but just kind of wanted to just kind of talk about some of the things I have noticed uh, with this game, the company, just kind of how scammy everything feels. Um, I know you guys must feel the same way, uh, but, you know, share down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. You know, if there's any weir weirder things you guys have seen with this company, everything just feels so shady. Um, but you know, leave a like, um, you know, comment down below again, uh, you know, what you guys thoughts were, and I will see you guys in another video. Thanks so much. Bye.